In this video, we're going to take a look at merging columns in Clay. So I'm going to give you this example. What you see in front of you is a table full of jobs data. So we have the company description. We also have the job description. And what we need to determine is if this company is a competitor for our client. So our client is an outsourcing company. Therefore, they would not want to um, contact other companies that are outsourcing companies or also staffing agencies, recruitment agencies, jobs, websites, and things like that. So from the company description, we ran this prompt to determine if this company is a competitor or not. And basically, we're just saying analyze the company description or analyze what this company does from the company description and determine if they are any of these. And if they are any of the above output, yes. If they're not, output no. And if you're not sure with an 80% or less than 80% certainty, output unsure. Cool. So that's the first prompt. And you can see that row number one is unsure. Row number eight says condition not met. The condition, if we go back to that prompt, is only run if company description has values. So basically in row number eight, there's no company description. That's why that run condition was not met. And so for rows number one and eight, we need to still determine if this is a competitor or not. And so in these cases, we need to scan their website and analyze the text on their website to determine this. So in the second column, this is a Clagent prompt. It's web research using Clagent, and we're using our own API key using OpenAI GPT 4.0. And so the prompt is very similar. It's pretty much the same. Uh, the only difference is that we're trying to help this help AI to understand more clearly. So we're giving it one example here where we're just saying, if it mentions things like top remote jobs at today's hottest companies with resume and cover letter, then it's obviously a website that people use to find jobs and therefore it is a competitor and the output should be yes. So that is the prompt and um, we also have a condition here where we're saying only run if the company description has no values or if the response contains unsure. And what is that response? That's the response of, is this a competitor from the company description? So from the first column that I talked about. And so now you can see that we have these two columns and we have some results. So that's very handy. But we need to merge those columns. And I'm going to show you how you can merge columns in different ways in this video. So go over to the right, click on Add Column, and choose Merge Columns. And it presents you with this modal where it says, first try this, then try this. And so if you think about what outputs you want, what you want is, let's say the first column output unsure, and the second column output yes, you want yes in the column. You want to know for sure if this is a competitor or not in our case. And so first you want to try competitor website analysis. And then as a backup, you want to try competitor company description. So the order should be forward slash competitor website analysis and choose response. And then try this one. So competitor company description, choose the response. We could add third or fourth or even more columns if we had multiple, but we only have two, so this is fine. So let's click on save settings here and you can see it has created a new column that we can rename, call it competitor merged, for example, and it's output yes, no, 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 no. So rows one and eight have been done correctly. And I have it already here, competitor merged. And so we can now use this as a condition for future enrichments, subsequent enrichments in this table. So for example, if competitor merged says no, only run if competitor merged output equals no or contains no. In other words, if it contains yes or unsure still, then just don't, don't run these subsequent enrichments. 
So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to learn more about using Clay and about lead generation, cold email, LinkedIn automation, and basic outbound marketing in general, then subscribe to the channel. I have a ton more content coming. So I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.